Do you guys want to see Chanel first, Dior first, giveaway first? So, what do I have for you today? I'm going to be showing you some of the goodies that I picked up recently from Chanel and Dior. So to me, this is a pretty big haul. I'm really excited to show you what I got. And secondly, I've got another giveaway for you guys. I know, right? Two giveaways back to back. And I'm so, I get really excited. I'm so glad that I can, um, I don't know, give a little something back to you guys. So I hope you like it too. Another thing I really wanted to mention was a Big thank you, big kisses for such loving, supportive comments that you made on my last vlog. I think that it's a cause that not just touches me, but touches all of you. So thank you for leaving such, such sweet compliments. And honestly, you know, yes, I am a luxury YouTuber, I guess that's the main focus of my channel. But I think not even just on YouTube, but on Instagram is such small snippets of my life. And, you know, I have shared that before. And if you're interested, I did do a 25 random facts about me um, video, which I will link down below or put up here somewhere. And yeah, there's so much more aspects of my life that uh, I want to share with you guys as well. And yeah, I was just so honored to be part of that um, event and that cause. So I'm really glad that you guys liked that too. So with that being said, let's move on to the giveaway. And the giveaway is, and this time round, I'm really glad because this is also something for my male viewers. I know sometimes you think, oh, great, you know, that's girl's perfume. Not that girl's perfume is bad because you can always buy it for your wife or your partner or your girlfriend, right? But this giveaway is both for the guys and the girls. And it is, um, a, it looks like Jord, but it's pronounced Yod. So this company reached out to me and said, look, did you want to try our wooden watches? And for me, I'm not that much of a watch person, though I'm getting into it. But my husband was actually looking for a new watch. So I was like, I would actually love to try it because his skin's pretty sensitive. So when I heard it was 100% natural and it's all made from different types of wood, I was like, okay, you know, this is good to try. So anyway, so they reached out to me and um, I'm going to unbox what I chose for him. And I also got to pick something for my son too. Enough talking, Mel. Let me just show you. So it comes in this cool wooden box and you open it up like this. So it's magnetic. See? And so this is the watch I picked for hubby. And I'm going to... Okay, so it comes on this sort of this material called like hessian or burlap sort of um, pillow and I picked this one for him because he wanted a more sort of casual watch well we picked it together really and he really liked the look of it and you th would think being a wood watch that it feels heavy but seriously it's so light so I'm just going to show a close-up of this and showing him modeling it a little bit this is as much as I can get him on camera. I'm really sorry. He doesn't like being on camera. But yeah, he really likes it. He likes all the different, like the wood is sort of like light and dark. And maybe, I'm not sure what type of wood this particular one is made in, but he liked that sort of two-tone effect. And it's a really sort of simple design with a white face. I'm very impressed with the packaging, I have to say, guys. It feels, I don't know, packaging, I'm a sucker for packaging. So when I saw this, I was like, nice. So that was the first watch for hubby. So the second watch I picked, and it's quite different. And that's what I love about this company. When we were selecting all the watches, um, there's so many different designs. So I think this one's a bit younger and it's a bit cooler. And so I got this one, which is a black and it's got a bigger face. And I was really attracted to it because blue is his favorite color. So I can't wait to give that to him because his watch actually broke. So this actually came perfect timing. So that was a watch that I chose for my son. I'm going to get hubby to model it just to see what it looks like on his wrist as well. But I think this one's, yeah, probably a little bit younger. Look, probably I say probably a little bit younger, but really, you can wear it at any age. It's just if you prefer a bigger watch face. So let me tell you about the details of the giveaway. These two watches are the men's watches, but they also do ladies' watches. So the giveaway is, and I'm going to leave the link in the description bar below, but basically you get $180 USD credit for you to pick anything you want. 
I mean, how good is that? You could pick a lady's watch. You could pick a men's watch. For us Aussies, Father's Day is coming up in September. You could get in early, get a watch for your dad or hubby or boyfriend. So that's cool. But if not, they've got some gorgeous, gorgeous girls watches as well. But if you're after one now, Yoda has kindly given me a gift code. So it's just MIMGIFT25 and that will take $25 off your total purchase price. What's really great about these watches too, I totally forgot to mention this, but it's free shipping anywhere around the world and it's free sizing. So all you need to do is just click on the link and you just follow the prompts on the website. So I hope you like that watch giveaway and I've never done a back-to-back -back giveaway so I'm like, yes! I can give you guys something as well. But let's move on to some of the goodies that I picked up and I'm going to unbox it all with you now. So in this Dior bag, I picked up something and I actually don't know which one this one is, but let's find out together. And it is, Ooh, I have not opened this up since. And it comes in this little pouch. Do you guys always see me wearing earrings? But this time round, uh, I bought a Dior necklace. I actually saw this in the earring version, but I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. So that's what it looks like. It just says Dior, and I less liked it because it was really quite simple. Let me just see if I can hold it up to myself. So it's in a very light sort of gold, and the back has a little CD here, but that's what it looks like. So I thought it was just really simple and I haven't really been into necklaces, but I don't know, of late I've just been looking at them a little bit more and maybe because I feel like I've got a lot of earrings now, not that that's gonna stop me, but I just wanted to change it up a bit. So I thought that that was really sweet. It was really pretty. It wasn't too much. If I wanted to, I could layer it with other things, other like longer necklaces. So that is the first piece. I will leave all the details um, as much as I can. I don't, I don't know what this necklace is called. And also for all the prices in the description bar below. So I know that you guys like prices, so don't have them on me. I don't have the receipt on me, but I'll leave all the prices in AUD in the description box. So isn't it pretty? Do you like it? It's a shorter type necklace too, but I just thought it was very pretty. So this is the second Dior item. I just realized when I said to you, oh, you know, I'm really into necklaces. And then I'm like, um, what are you gonna unbox now, Mel? Yeah, so yes, this is Dior earrings. Yeah, so I'm, I'm still really into earrings. I'm just saying that I haven't really bought necklaces. This is what I bought. It comes in another little pouch. This one's got a tie ribbon this time. Oh, one came out already. Okay, so this one is a little bit different. I actually haven't really seen many people wear them. But this, and I'm going to show a close-up of this, is going to be too hard to see. This is actually the tribal earring, which everyone has the beautiful classic pearl version in. I've seen a lot of people wear the pearl version or the canage version, but I saw these black versions and I thought they were really edgy. And what I liked about this was, so the back has got like an eight, a four leaf clover, a B and a star. And it's sort of asymmetric. So one says CD on one side and the other one is just like this gray sort of diamante thing. So I just really liked the look of them. So let me see if I can put it on for you now and just show you what it looks like. If I can show it on my ear. Okay, so that's what they look like. What do you think? Do they look too bulbous on me? What do you think? I don't know. I just thought they were a little bit edgy and I really liked them. I just thought they were quite cool. So I might leave them on for now. So that is the second item that I picked up from Dior. Let's move on to Chanel. And I'm going to show you this. And I've never had a bag this shape before because I don't buy these sort of items from there as much. So you probably can guess, right? So yes, this is like a big accessories haul. I'm gonna get it out now. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. 
Hold on. Why oh, it's so stuck? I seriously can't get it out. Hold on, guys. Something stuck. See, this is why they don't do bags this size. only took like an hour to get out okay not an hour I seriously never struggled getting something out of the bag before next time just like keep it out of the bag okay it's in this box let's just rip it open it's like an unbagging right okay. so I got this item and it this was like so not on the radar this was not planned guys I have to admit and it is from the newest Paz Paris Cosmopolite I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong um, range and I just saw it and I'm like I need to try it on and yes see I told you I'm getting into it I bought this item and this is a choker and I know chokers are all the rage and I have a couple of sort of like high straight versions because it's not something I you know wanted to invest in but I'm really sort of getting into necklaces now and yeah off the shelf it didn't look that great but on I just thought it looked really edgy it comes in silver and it also comes in gold and as I said I will leave the details for it in the description bar below with the code as well um, I do believe it comes in a thinner version, though I'm not sure if Australia arranged that because I only saw this thicker version and I just love it. I just think that I'm going to be pairing it with jeans, with dresses. I just think it looks, I don't know, really cool. Let me put it on. I'll be right back. So I'm back and this is it. What do you guys think? Does it suit me? Do I suit chokers? Anyway, I just really like it. I thought it was still quite understated. I was a little bit worried that I'm like, oh my gosh, am I just like, is it too, not bling, but yeah, is it too much? I don't know. But I think you can make it look kind of understated, if that makes sense. Well, I know it, it says big Chanel there, but you know, even with what I'm wearing, I'm just wearing a black top. I'm wearing this um, sheer sort of, it's actually a dress. I'm going to stand up like, but it's like this sheer dress and I've got my YSL belt. Can you kind of, kind of see? This is from H&M and I think it can look quite rocker. I don't know if it's rocker, but um, yeah, a bit edgy. And I like to mix things up a bit. I'm quite feminine, hence it's still like a dress, but yeah, I, this was sort of inspired by the whole Dior ready to Ray range, but they're oh, beautiful Her gowns or like, I don't know, 4,000, 8,000, 12,000. So when I saw this, I'm like, I'm going to make do. H&M, 50 bucks. And the final goodie is from Chanel. And this was purchased on a different day. And this, guys, this was planned. I've just been waiting for this one to hit Australia. And only one came into the Chadstone Boutique. And the minute it came in, I'm like, yup, I want them. And for you guys that know me, can you guess? Yep, you're probably right. <laughs> So, I'm going to open it up. Oh, why is everything so hard to open today? Okay, I'm going to fast forward this bit. So, I have a confession. I left and I had to cut it because I could not open it. I'm just having the worst trouble tonight. But anyway, let me quickly show you what I got. And... You probably can tell from the box what it is and for those of you that have been following me for some time this is going to come at absolutely no surprise if you haven't joined my instagram family this is my instagram name here now come on over i post there pretty often as well and yes so this one is yes i've seen this on instagram ages ago but as always australia always gets things late so it took a while to get here, but when it did, I, abs I knew I wanted this piece. And again, it's from the Paris Cosmopolite range. And it is these beautiful, stunning pearl droplet earrings. I do not have anything like this 
in my Chanel earring collection. I have been obsessed with Chanel earrings for like so many years. You guys know that. I've done a Chanel earring collection video before. If you guys were interested in that, I'll link that down below. Though now I've added a few more, but I'm just, is, aren't they stunning? They're so elegant. They're so classy. I think anything with pearls is elegant and classy, but this particular one I feel had a bit of a vintage vibe to it. So that's why I loved it even more because I love vintage pieces and I've got quite a few vintage Chanel earrings as well. So let me take them out. And I'm going to wear them now. That's why I took the choker off because you can't do choker and earrings. Like that's just like way overboard. And this is what they look like. Oh, I love them. They, they feel really nice too. Now this earring, I forgot to mention, it does come in a ruthenium colorway. But personally, I think the gold, it's a very sort of pale gold. It's just stunning, stunning. So let me put them on and I'm going to show you. I can find my earlobe now. Okay. You guys are going to see this before me because I haven't even seen it. It's like first time trying on camera. What do you think? I, I mean, it feels nice. It doesn't feel heavy. So yeah, that is my last um, item for my accessory haul. I am just so thrilled with everything. Um, Two necklaces for me that's pretty big and earrings is something like I wear every day so I know that I'll be using these guys a lot so remember guys if you're interested in the giveaway you can win yourself a hundred and eighty dollar credit to pick the watch of your choice I just think that's awesome and once again everything will be in the description bar below thank you always for joining me um, in my unboxings and sharing in my happiness I'm gonna leave all prices and all the details as much as I can in the description bar below because you guys said you like prices, right? Is that correct? Let me know. I know some people are a little bit weird about sharing them, but look, I'm always going to be honest with you guys. These are luxury items. They're not cheap, but if it helps some of you, I'm happy to leave the prices. So I will leave it in the description bar below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.